is very close to my face. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Pomo Dweller. Welcome, if you are new here. In this week's video, I am going to be attempting, <laughs> very much attempting, to make a dollhouse. Obviously not like out of wood. I'm not that good. I never said it was good, by the way. I'm gonna try. So I am going to be following this tutorial right here. And then I printed it out like you can just find the website from the video just watch the video and then like she'll say where the website is like where you go to it to get the printables and yeah I am going to be voiceovering most of this video um, so enjoy bye also I will leave the link in the description to the tutorial I used also I am not going to be doing everything in the tutorial like she does plants i'm not going to do plants i'm just gonna use the tutorial for the structure and then in part two yes i said part two i will be doing something kind of crazy if it works i hope it works okay bye so here i had just printed out the template i'd printed out twice just in case if I needed multiple things, which I definitely needed because I didn't want to have to go back and print them again. So I just basically started following the tutorial and that's pretty much what I was doing. And when she would say things like cut this part four times, I only I had only printed it twice and I didn't want to reprint it again twice more. So I used cardboard. I had uh, one of those like instant mac and cheese packages made, made of the, uh, that thin cardboard and then I had like a giant not giant but I had like one of those big Amazon boxes and I also had another one that was a smaller one a smaller Amazon package with thicker uh, cardboard and the bigger one had like medium thickness cardboard so it was good variety and i started like peeling some of the pieces that i just needed a little bit more structure on them i peeled part of that top layer off so i would get either the squiggly part or, like the flat part and here i'm doing the front and layering it i'm pretty sure this is where one of the parts where she said four times also this was the hardest part to cut most of this whole process right here in this part was just cutting it was just cutting um and that like front piece with the windows were so hard to cut i tried using my exacto knife like my box cutter that i had but it did absolutely nothing it was terrible to use like to work with and i had to do it all by hand with scissors and it was really a, it was a long process and that was like really annoying to do Here I was using um, my Cricut that I have right here um, and I was using um, not my iPad but an iPad that we have for the Cricut not specifically for the Cricut someone's iPad but anyways and then I was trying to like make it cut out because I would have to cut out every single little strip on the thing it would be so hard so I was trying to use the Cricut but then the Cricut wouldn't work because I like didn't have a good amount of paper or cardboard or whatever so i just did not even end up cutting little strips out on the pink part right there on that little thing in front of the camera um i did not even end up cutting it because i'm like i don't have patience for this so because i had already been cutting maybe for like i'm gonna say two three hours and i was tired of cutting this is day two finally so here i continued cutting i had to cut the door piece no the windows i had to cut windows multiple times so i ended up uh going to the printer and like reprinting it on one sh separate i mean on one sheet of paper instead of using a separate sheets of paper for every single little um like window and like window shutters because that that'd be a waste because they're like two by two That'd be a waste of paper. So I ended up just reprinting it on the same paper, the same page and like moving it around on the, on the, like, you know, when you print it, <laughs> the copy thing.
ladies and gents, we have reached day three. So, I may or may not. I did. I did. I definitely did. I spent three days cutting for maybe like three hours each day. That's nine hours of cutting out little tiny pieces of paper. And now I was finally assembling it, but that's gonna all go to waste. Yeah, you'll see that it's gonna all go to waste. Also, here's where I ran out of hot glue sticks. Um, and yeah. <laughs> um, so in this next clip that's gonna pop up. Yeah, okay. Here, I finally started doing clay, and look at that. The whole thing's, almost the whole thing's been disassembled now. I'm at like half of it. I'm working on half of it right now. And then... Three, two, one. Next day, it's all crumbling. It's all crumbling. It's all falling apart. Don't mind cinnamon scratching at my door right now. So I left it out for a little over 24 hours to dry and it it just started crumbling um and i just assumed that it was because of it didn't it was because it didn't have enough time to dry but yeah um so that is it for today guys i will give you a little thing though for next week's video maybe not next week it's probably not gonna be next week but it may be the week after I don't know. Depends. In part two, I have let the, I don't know what you call it, clay, sculptures, whatever, uh, dry. And they've all dried in individual pieces uh, because it fell apart and crumpled, as you know. And I've let it dry for over two weeks. But yeah, don't mind my thumb. So that is it for today, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. And I hope to see you guys whenever. See you in part two. Bye! Stop this.